Hello and welcome. Today I will be talking about my thoughts and opinions on Chapter 2 Season 5 of Fortnite because tomorrow is Season 6. The things like, like to go on today would be like on, on the map, Battle Pass skins and stuff like that. Not really like the skins again of the item shop because I really didn't buy them all. Well, with the map I just like to talk about, I like the whole wasteland desert. It's like amazing. The whole, the middle part where you had the zero point, now it's like almost about to explode it looks like, or do or do something, won't know until tomorrow. I like the whole new Coliseum POI, the mini call out to like Dusty Depot, and Salty forming with Tilted Towers. Feels pancakes man for man cakes. Man, as someone that has never seen the show Mandalorian, but knows a lot about Star Wars, Hey, I like it. He's very cool. And glad we have him. And next up we got was Reese. She she was okay. She wasn't my favorite. But I do like her design. Looks like she's like from space. I don't know. Space trooper, whatever you would say on these type of ordeals. Every ad style of her I like a lot. My favorite one would be the Galactic Ranger. Just all white and gold. It's kind of cool. And then next, I think, came out was Maeve? Yes. Damn, she's cool. Kind of looks like she looks like... Gladiator? Viking? Something like that. Like jungle goddess? I mean that's what I well, that's what I make it out of her. Because she has all these things like she's like a shapeshifter, her hair, and also like a bunch of snakes, just like Medusa. And she gets like a shark shark tail when, whenever she's swimming. And like and like huge like Eagle wings. It only equipped onto her. I wish she equipped onto other other skins and stuff. I feel like that'd be cool on other skins, but just on one skin feels kind of ah uh, lame. I get more on that later. The next we got, I think, it was Condor, my favorite skin of, of the bunch. I just like how he looked. I like his other added style. He said they used his ability. Switches in between game, but I wish you could like switch it, like on the menu, before you go into match. It feels like I like the emote, but I don't want to use it every time, just to use an edit style or sign different on him. And then we got Lexia, the skin that every, the popular skin of this season, where the skin every, everybody ran. She wasn't my favorite, but. I liked her. She's okay. And she's like technicality first skin of her kind, I guess. I mean being stylized in the color shading shader that she's in. The only thing that bother me about these skins, and also the male counterpart too, were like the eyes. The eyes feel kind of ugh. That's what bothers me about the skin. Anything else I like it. I like her edit style, it makes sense. I like how she can become like a robot. That's pretty cool. And then we got Menace. Menace is cool. Even though he's not the level 100, 100 but he feels like it 100%. I think you get him like a tier... Let's see what tier you get. You get in tier... Tier 83. He's the first tier 83 skin. I mean, another skin that was at that tier was like Black Knight. But he was like tier 75 or 70. Don't remember. Well, now let's talk about the things I really didn't like. Well, the things I didn't like it's like edit styles behind Battle Pass and stuff like that. 
add stuff. It's like it's okay. I like it. Always feel kind of oh yay, it's a higher level. Uh, another edit style. It's like but I read that unlock those challenges, things you gotta do in the game keep you playing the game and not just coming back for XP. Just play a couple matches, get a couple levels. Do 100 to get everything. Maybe I'm the only one with that opinion, but that's just me. Like, I'm also probably less built in emotes altogether. And that's the one thing I really don't like. Oh, with all the built in emotes. Every skin has a built in emote. Not like an emote everyone can use. Other with any skin. The thing I like that I'm gonna keep is like the pickaxes either have them dueled or one handed, two handed, you know what I mean. Oh did I forget mancakes? I totally forgot mancakes. Mancakes is my other favorite. I can't believe I forgot mancakes. It's literally using him last last match. Wow, that's so dumb. Oh, sorry about that. Maybe it's edit in post. Or not. Most likely not. Anyone even use these sprays? I'm pretty sure no one even uses sprays. Like the only emote we got looks like booming. Is that the only one that wasn't built in? Let's see. Uh, no, it was the only one. That's a shame. Yeah, it was the only. No, there was another one. Warriors prepares. That one is not built in for menace. I know we're gonna have access to that. Maybe other things they could add. It's like daily unvaults, unvaults and. Involved back into the vault. That'd be nice. Just like fresh paste, like a fresh, fresh paste. What the hell? Just fresh gameplay once in a while. Just change up the weapons. Bring it time new. Take out time. Bring it time that's not been in a long while. It's not been seen, and not just tied down to like events or anything like that. We tie down one week, you get this item, next week, you get that one, or once you get both. I don't know, stuff like that. Probably also more unique item shops that isn't just crossovers. That's what I usually mean. Like, I like to see unique things. There's a just crossovers from something else. I mean, don't get me wrong, the crossovers are great. I love them greatly. And I'm glad I have them. I think that's all I gotta say today. Well, besides that, I hope you have a great day. And that's all. See ya.